Hello there everybody. In this video we're going to look at how to design this model logo model wheel in Design Spark Mechanical. It's based on the Springbok 5 inch driver wheel and also this casting uh, the uh, drawing for the Springbok wheel doesn't show the spokes so I'm going to use the same dimension spokes that are on this for the Springbok. Uh, there's also only 18 spokes on the Springbok where there's 22 on here so that will be the only difference. Perhaps the diameter might be slightly different as well. So here we go with that. And to get this thing started, I'm first going to put a centre line in. Then a guideline to represent the radius of the local wheel. Now as you see there, it's in millimetres, 21 millimetres at the moment. Now the radius according to the drawing is 3 and 1 eighth. So that is no problem. We simply type in 3.125 and then put IN for inches and it will work out the correct length in millimetres. Return. There it has done it. Now at the end of this line we need to put our rim profile so we'll find the end and select it and the rim profile is 0 0.563 0 0.563 inches tab by 0.271 inches and that's our rim so we can now dispense with this line and we have to add the rim and the chamfer on here so we'll go to another rectangle and the rim is Three thirty two wide. We've got the width highlighted there, so it's three thirty two inches. Tab five thirty two inches tall. If we select T for trim, we can trim this piece here. That's one gone. There we are. And now we can put some radii on the corner. Create rounded corner. Find the center there. And again there. And we want a decent radius on here. 1.19 or a bit more. That's too much. I'm going to make that. Ah, 1.62. That's right. Now we need a chamfer on here. But look, we don't appear to have a chamfer, a straight chamfer tool here. But what I do is I use the rounded corner. And the chamfer is 0 0.046 inches. So if we put 0 0.046 inches. And then we can simply take the straight line and put a straight line in here on T for trim chamfer. The next step is to fill in the central part of the wheel, which according to the drawing is set back a short amount from the back face. So using the line tool, 
we can hover on this corner and press the shift key and we get a, a temporary reference point here so we can now recess it 0 0.054 inches and we take that down to the center line and this web in here is the drawing 0.375 inches so again we're going to use the line tool and make a reference here of 0.375 using the shift key for a temporary reference so this is 0.375 inches and I'm going to come down here and to make this is going to be a tapered web so I'm going to move out here until it matches the outer face there you see of the wheel rim see the dotted line going up vertically it tells you what, when it's in line with the with the rim here this face so we need that's it there so I'm going to do that now then I can now get rid of this center line and put in a proper line because I'm going to need some sort of line to rotate round. We can also trim away this portion. Now I might as well at this moment put radii in here which will save a lot of effort later on. So select rounded corner. I'm going to zoom in a bit because I want this radius to come out right to that corner there. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. I left a bit of a line, so I'll trim that out. Again, corner radius. One point six uh, and that's basically going to be our wheel blank so to finish this off p for pull tool we got a surface select the surface surface there you see surface pull tool with the pointer sticking out. Now we're going to rotate this. Rotate tool. Select an axis to rotate about. Well, it's, that's the axis. And full pull. Magic. Now there is our wheel blank. All we've got to do now is to put some spokes in and the hub. Okay, so I know that the, the back face here is flat, so I'm gonna be drawing on that. Uh, and we'll select it. Select. That means we can square it up. <clears throat> and start drawing things on. Well, again, I'm going to need a center line. So we'll put our center line along here. And the spokes are going to be tapered slightly. Uh, point 0.2 inches thick here. And tapering outwards and I've calculated that they will need to be 0.274 thick if they were to arrive at the center they will not of course arrive at the center but that will give us our proper taper size I'm going to put a circle in here it's asking for a diameter so that's all right 0.2 inches and here what was it? Two 
seven four inches. And to make our spoke, we're going to use the tangent line over here. And then we see when we hover on the circle, we get two parallel lines, meaning that it is a tangent line. So we select roughly there and there's another tangent line. Make sure you, you select the small circle and not this circle. Then we can trim. I don't think we're going to need the center line again, so we can get rid of that. All these bits here. And there's one spoke. We need 18 of these regularly spaced. So we can select this one. Move it around its center point. Move that to the center. Should find the center nicely. We need to select cre create patterns and then drag this thing until you see patterns start. There we are. So we'll release now. We've got a count of eight there. We need 18. So we'll type 18. And there we have 18. We can select trim tool. Now all this clutter here we can erase. So select somewhere over there. Oh. Trim. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it took a short while, I thought it would be instantaneous. So, that's that. These of course need radii in here and uh, in here as well so we'll do that in a minute but first I'm going to draw in the hub because we need to trim away some of these spokes to accommodate the hub now the main part of the hub is 1.384 inches diameter 1.3 and the crank pin hole is 1 and 1 eighth inch away from the center 1.125 1 inch it is Point three seven four. Point three seven four inches. Now that's the the, uh, the pivot hole. I'm putting that there because we've got to delete these bits of. Spork segment pass through part of the hub that radius of point three seven five so again we yeah so well, that's a diameter of point seven five inches complete the hub the tangent line that there Now we can start trimming things away.
I've just noticed I've uh, trimmed away the hole. Place it as design spark mechanical finds the center of the radius, so it's there. Diameter three, seven, four inches. Central one six eight eight inches. Now we can start putting some radii in here. We'll start here, and we're going to be working in millimeters this time. So I'm going to be using. A 1.3 millimeter radius milling tool. I'm going to make these 1.6 radius. Now then, have you noticed that it's cut off that line there and that one there? I'm going to have to replace that. There. Yeah. yeah. You can reconnect these to the corner, select that, that, go for Now the next job is to remove all these spurious little round parts. Okay. We need to select the trim tool, T key on the keyboard. Must have pressed the wrong key, T. Now we need ready eye in here. What's And that's that. Okay, now that we've got all of that, we can make our spokes. So we select P for pull. And select pieces one by one. Holding the control key down. Select them all. Like so, turn this sideways a bit, and with the left key, click, hold, and drag it a little bit. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to pull this out 
to match the surface of the back face. So up to there. Might as well at the same time put through. Then up to this. It, come, it goes further than that face, according to the drawing. That should protrude 332 beyond this front face here. I will grab it and move and type 3. 32 inches. That's got our boss. We're getting there. Now we need to put some BDI on. Start down here, which is the difficult part. Double click. Right, we've got going around there, that's fine. Control, double click. That. Got to be careful, we don't double click when we're on one of these faces. Find the edge. Also, be careful not to reselect what you've already double clicked, like that one there. That's everything, I do believe. We type 1.6 millimeters. Turn and wait. Oh. the same on its back face one point six Now I see I've got a sharp edge in here, which we can't have, which is a cast edge corner here. Can't have a sharp uh, cast edge there. So I'm going to select that. Double click. And that's gone round there. There. Click long on back to this double click. Right, try one again, one, ah, there we are, I've got one. there, return, now let's turn it, this hasn't done anything here, but that, that is okay, we've got a radius in there, a radius there, on the other side too, excellent.
So that's in good. Ready to proceed with the next process. Now this 3D model is supposed to represent the finished part. But what we've got here is a part that's all one colour. We need to show the mach machined parts and the cast parts that are as cast or eventually painted. So I'm going to assume that the as cast painted parts are going to remain green. And I'm going to turn the rim on this, these faces of the hub as a machined cast iron. So I've evolved a technique to do that, and it involves the split body tool. Now, the, the complete rim is, is machined, so we can split that off from the the main part of the wheel so it's now asking us click a target object well that's the solid click a face plane or edge loop as cutter well the edge face is going to be down here this is the face it's going to cut all the spokes out in the middle of the, the rim so like that face now we see over here we've got two solids. Now we've got a block in there, so escape. So now I'm going to rename. Rim. and hub right so rim we can now color rear now what do we do with these machine faces here Problem is, of course, if we just select a face, right, a color that, everything becomes. What do we do? And now, of course, we want to make these faces on the bores machine to look like machined faces. So the technique that I've used is to first of all select all the faces using the control key, selected the faces, then the move tool. Hold the control key and using this pull arrow to pull it pull it sideways. It'll start to move. It takes a while. There it is. So now it's it's pulled the surface. There it is. Now these are all surfaces. It's a surface. One surface, so if we select it, 
then the pull tool and type point one and that makes it into a solid so let's name rename some of these so we'll know where we are that one there rename we'll call that the rim And this one I'm going to call um, hub. Machining. So it's still green. Select display color now it's also gray select the whole thing again move tool now we need to move the hub into the center move it onto the ball wall which will put it in the center. Click up to, click this center. There it is. Put it in place and now we've got a, mach a nicely machined up. So there it is folks. I hope that's going to be useful to you guys. Um, and I think it looks very smart. Hope you found it useful and interesting. Bye.